Hello everyone, my name is Teague Bogenholm and today I'll be sharing with you uh, my exhibit on Twin Cities artist Aziz Osman. Uh, when I was initially looking on who or what to do my project on, I was searching the internet and I came across Mr. Osman's work and uh, instantly I was captivated by it. Uh, and the things that really stuck out were his vibrant paintings, um, the artistic depictions of his, his home in Somalia of East Africa and the Middle Eastern life and uh, how his personal connections in his artwork connected to the, the coursework in our Islamic art and architecture class. Some really interesting things that I learned about Mr. Osman are that he was originally from Somalia, um, but then when he was about our age, he moved to Italy uh, to pursue being both an artist and an architect. Um, so he was an architect and painter in Italy for about two decades, and then he re returned home to Somalia because he wanted to, to connect with his roots. Um, but months after moving home, a civil war broke out and he had to flee the country. Um, he actually ended up escaping death by firing squad, which is just crazy to think about. And uh, this is ultimately how he ended up being in the, in the Twin Cities. And now he resides in uh, Columbia Heights. When Osman first moved to Minnesota, he and his family didn't have enough money to um, buy art materials or art supplies. And so what he would do is he would collect all the garbage from his and other people's um, bag lunches and he would paint on the on the cardboard boxes from cereal or the the milk cartons or he would use the brown paper bags um, to, to use as his his um, canvases for his art and his paintings. Osman classifies his work as both falling into the categories of impressionism and abstract expressionism. Um, a lot of his artwork depicts traditional Somalian um, life and or culture, and also the Afro-Islamic heritage that he, he himself comes from. Um, a little bit of really cool information is he was, he was greatly influenced by Italian painters from the, from the 1500s to the 1800s uh, when he spent his time in Italy. Uh, and another thing that's really um, significant about his art is that he uses like geometric shapes and bright colors to, to really create an identity for his artwork. Almost all of Osman's work f that he has um, created about Somalia, he, he's created on pre-war Somalia. And the reason he does this is he claims that he doesn't want Somali youth to forget their roots. And so he creates images and depictions of what it was like before the Civil War so that the youth would be able to, to understand and carry out um, the traditions and cultures that were, pre that were present before. Um, and another thing that's really interesting is he um, only focuses on women and girls in his paintings because he claims that men are the ones who started and caused the civil war that um, negatively impacted their, the, the Somalian culture. In class, we had talked at one point about how Baghdad was the center of the world and people came from all over the world and traveled from all over the world to come and share their experiences and their, their craft and their artistry. And I think Osman's work um, embodies that a little bit because his inspiration from Italian painters um, is kind of like the blending of cultures or the amalgamation of cultures where he's taking... Um, some art styles from the Italian culture and also blending it with his own use uh, and his own experiences. And I think that that's uh, a really cool, cool outcome that is, has come from Osman's work. And much like the construction of mosques that we've learned about throughout our course, um, Osman intentionally uses like geometric shapes and unique colors to tell stories of his Somalian culture. Uh, just kind of like what we've seen in the construction of mosques that have very deliberate um, geographic or geometric designs. Um, Osman implements that technique in his, in his artwork as well. And uh, he uses unconventional artistic expressions and materials. So the materials we learned about earlier where he would use um, like recycled, uh, garbage from school lunches um, and he'd 
He'd make paint out of any little thing that he could, and his his artistic expressions are really unique in the fact that they have um, really abstract an abstract nature to it. Um, and a connection that I made to this to our classes, um, like we talked about in the, the the 2011 movement in Cairo with the girl in the blue bra, how that became a symbol, an abstract symbol, um, uh, where where they would stencil stencil pictures um, on on walls, and it's it's giving power back to the people uh, in that respect. And finally, I thought that it'd be really important to look at where we could find Aziz Osman's art. Um, some some of the most um, notable places in Minnesota that you can find his art are the Somali Museum of Minnesota, the Hennepin County Medical Center. They have uh, implemented a lot of his paintings and, and hung those up around there. Um, the African Development Center and also the Midtown Global Market. So he and there's a lot more places where you can find it too, but these are some of the, the most notable um, locations where you can find his stuff. And one last thing I want to throw out there is um, Aziz Osman has this his own website. It's called Aziz Arts, and on this website you're able to see all of his all of his artwork. Um, in particular, here are his all of his paintings that he's done. Um, and they're, they're so beautiful and they're so cool. Um, and he also has um, some, some clay work where he has done some sculpting and some pottery. Um, and it's really, really cool to look at. So um, that is just another great resource where you can, you can learn more about his work and, um, and just dive into it some more.